Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and if you've been following me for a while, you know that a while back I built this PC for $300. Back then it got a Cinebench score of around 300, and editing in Adobe Premiere was pretty snappy and fast, and I was overall satisfied with it. However, the one problem that I didn't like was the stock cooler. The CPU would get upwards of 70 degrees, most of the time it would stay around 65, but it would go higher sometimes, and it was pretty loud. So I decided now it's time to change that out for an Arctic Freezer 33 Esports 1 Edition cooler. The first thing I noticed was it was a lot more quiet when I wasn't rendering videos or something, and it also boosted the Cinebench score from around 300 to nearly up, nearly upwards of 600. It actually did hit 625 most of the time, and sometimes it would go above that, but that was very rare. And that's in the territory of the 3770 CPU. So this is actually a really good cooler. So just in case you don't know the specs of this PC, it is an i7-2600 non-K, a 4x4 gigabyte non-kit, it was actually a whole bunch that I scattered around, of DDR3 at 1600 MHz, a GTX 1050 Ti 4 gigabyte overclocked by MSI, I couldn't really overclock it that much more. It has a 1TB WD Blue hard drive, a 128GB Kingston V300 SSD, a random motherboard that I got for pretty cheap that I have no idea what the company is, there's no branding on it or nothing. And the case was just an old e-machines case that I wrapped in carbon fiber and cut out a window and put this dust filter on the front and did a lot more modifications like that. In total the build was $300 though, including everything. So now that you know what's all done to this PC, here are the benchmarks. They were all run in 1080p. Okay, now here's a sound test for how loud it is. This is idle. Now 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start up Prime 95. So as you can see, it's fairly quiet. So for $300, actually $330 now because I had that $30 cooler, this is actually a very good PC. If you just want a game, it's actually better than a 1600, and it does video editing very well, almost the same. It also avoids the high prices of DDR4 and uh, graphics cards and even CPUs because it's using older parts that the miners aren't really paying that much attention to. Another thing to mention is that the i7-2600 is a very upgradable CPU. Unless you need something like an NVMe hard drive, which you can still do by using the PCIe brackets, then I don't really see why you would need a newer CPU. This CPU can handle uh, even up to a GTX 1080, and it can, it'll even handle a TI, it'll just probably bottleneck it a little bit. So for 2018, I'd say this is still a great PC to build because it's still very upgradable. I do have to say though that if you're going to try and build this PC yourself, you should be looking for the K model of the 2600 or a 3770 because the K model will allow you to overclock and get a lot better performance. You can overclock the uh, non-K using the BLCK method, but that's very risky, risky because you can break your motherboard, so I don't recommend that. Just get the K model if you can and it'll make you last a lot longer. And you might even be able to use a 1080 Ti after that. So anyways guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Make sure you follow me on Twitter because no one's really following me there. And thanks for watching.